good evening dear students today we are going to discuss about the varma gadha rogas okay varma gadha rogas they are 21 in number according to sushruta jaya number is 24 according to vakbada jaya varma that is a varma mandala we can call it as netra kuda or pakshma mula these are some synonyms of varma see there are say among the six padalas the two padalas in the varma and from coming to the sandhis the four sandhis among the six sandhis four are related to varma four are related to varma that are pakshma varma gada sandhi varma shukla gada sandhi kanina gada sandhi and abhaga sandhi then coming to the discussing about the buddha predominance prithvi and agni maha buddha predominant is varma and kapha and pitta doshas are more predominant and dhyana vayu and prana vayu is also important in varma so 21 varma gada rogas are there according to susruta jaya and 24 varma gada rogas are there according to vapada jaya so we are going to see the uh, this is one by one according to the sadhi asadida according to the susruta jaya three are asadya vada gada varma nimesha and sonidarsha pakshma kopa is a yapya roga jagana sadhi vyadi is a nine vedana sadhi vyadi is a three in number chedana sadhi vyadi is a three in number and ashastrakrata are two in number prakin number one aklin number one this is the classification according to susruta jaya three are asadhi vyadis vada gada varma nimesha and sonidarsha pakshma kopa ya there is a yapya disorder lekana sadhi vyadis are nine in number vedana sadhya and chedana sadhya are three in number and two is asastra gada praklinna varman aklinna varman then we are going to see that this is one by one within that short period of time we have to discuss we have to go through the all the diseases most most of the diseases are not that much means according to the exam point of view most of them are not but, but we can expect one or two questions from the varman gada rogas in, in every exam sometimes they will ask three to four questions okay we can expect we can predict one or minimum two questions from varma gada rogas so we have to cover all the diseases the 21 and 24 diseases according to the acharyas and the important disease we will discuss okay then first come to the ulsankini this is a tridosha vyadi according to susruta acharya according to vakpada acharya the disease is name is ulsanka okay ulsankini according to susruta acharya that is there is something some pedaga like eruptions okay in that especially on the lower lid but according to vakpada acharya the disease is ulsanka that is coming on the both the lids both the varma acharya describe like this rakta rakte na pedaga tat tulya pedaga achita ulsanka kya due to the vishesh of rakta dosha rakta type of means some rakta color rakta varma pedaga are arising in the varma okay so according to the acharya this is a chedana sadhi vyadi vedana karma is also advised if the pedaga is small vedana karma is also advised lekana karma can is advised after doing the chedana and vedana karma lekana sadhi vyadi is ulsangini or ulsanga okay ulsangini is or ulsanga according to susruta acharya that is ulsangini according to vanpada acharya that is ulsanga okay according to susruta acharya that is tridoshaja lekana sadhi vyadi according to vanpada acharya that is rakta jal vyadi rakta rakta ne pedaga tatulya pedaga achita there arise some pedagas arise some nodules okay tatulya pedaga achita that is called ulsanga kya okay we can correlate with according to the definition of susruta acharya we can correlate with calasion or a meibomian cyst according to the signs and symptoms told by susruta acharya we can correlate with calasion or a meibomian cyst what is a calasion okay calasion or a tarsal cyst or a meibomian cyst that is a non suppurative non infective a granulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland okay meibomian glands are the important glands in the eyelids 30 40 number of glands are there in the upper lid the number is less in the lower lid so if there arises an inflammatory granulomatous inflammation is happen in the meibomian gland without any suppuration without any infection so that type of pedaga that type of swelling is called as a calasion a tarsal or a meibomian cyst okay these are synonyms calasion tarsal or meibomian cyst there won't be any infection non infective granulomatous inflammation that is the 
feature. Okay, what are the etiology? What are the causative factors due to Einstein, due to some refractory error? If the patient is taking too much carbohydrates or alcohol, and due to some chronic irritation, chronic inflammation in the lid margin, like that of nephritis or diabetes mellitus, these are the common factors for arising this calcium. Okay, so when we are coming to the picture, when we are coming to the clinical picture, see from the from the picture you can see that the swelling is more away from somewhat away from the lid margin okay the swelling is we can find we can see the swelling over the lid from the external lid that is a painless swelling reduced pain will be the painless swelling will be there heaviness will be there okay when we are inverting the lid we can see some points of like that of red or purple or gray type of point that is on the palpable region okay the swelling there won't be any pus point near to the lid margin the swelling will be away from the lid margin okay that is the feature we can feel some painless swelling some heaviness okay this is the feature of calasion or meibomin cyst or a tarsal cyst okay then what are the treatments we can advise some conservative methods like that we can we are applying some hot water fermentation mix when we are applying some chodana or, or massage over that you will get some relief or some intralesion some injections or after that even if it is not subsiding with the conservative treatment we can do some incision and curettage okay incision and curettage like a vedana karma we can do the treatment or some diathermy procedures okay whether it is a marginal calasio some diathermy procedures can be applied okay then comes to the next disease kumbhika kumbhika See, when we are hearing some disease, if you are already studied the slogans, then it will be easy for understanding or writing the signs and symptoms. Even if you are not studied the slogans also, from the name itself, you can understand some features about the disease. So, when we are hearing that Kumbhika, that is a Vatmata Droga, Legana Sati Vyadi, Sannipata Vyadi, Susuta Ajarya and Vatmata Ajarya also describe that. So, from the name itself, we can understand some features. Kumbhika Bija Bad. Okay, see how our Avad Badajaya describe about Kumbhika. Krishna Pittena Bhavu Andha. What ma Kumbhika Bija Bad? Like that a Kumbhika Bija. Some pomegranate seeds like eruptions is arising on the Varma. On the lids, they are arising some pedagas resembling that of a Kumbhika Bija. So from the name itself, we will get some points. Okay, Krishna Pittena, due to the Pitta Vishyajan, due to some Pitta vitiation, there arise some nodules, some eruptions that is in blackish color, like that of a Kumbhika Bija. Pidaga Kumbhi Sabhita. We are cutting or removing, we are after doing some incision and drain of the some discharge. Again, also that will arise. Again, also that this eruptions will arise. So, Kumbhika Krishna Pittena Bhavanda. Varma Kumbhika Pijava, Atmayam De Pinar Dinda, Pedaga Pindi Sabhita. Hello, listen. Okay, so Vakbaraja has described like the Kumbhika Varma. Okay, this is a Legana Sati Vyadi, Tikilsa Legana, Pradisarana, Parishaga is advised. Kumbhika, this when we are coming to the correlation, we can correlate somewhere according to the condition, we can correlate with some male bone cyst or a tarsal cyst or a calasium or a style or like that. Okay, what is a style or external hordeolum or style? What is the difference between a calasium? What is a style? Okay, see, this is a superative inflammation of the glands of this and or a mole. Glands of this or mole that are some small glands related to the root of the cilia. From this picture, you can see that some small glands that are related to the roots of the cilia, if they are occurring, some gland is infective condition superative inflammation is happening at the glands of cis or mole then that type of swelling that type of inflammation is called as style or external corbiolum okay so the predisposing factor some etiological factors are that similar to that of calasion eye strain refractive errors some constantly rubbing the eyes with uh, after touching nose Oh, okay, some contaminated uh, fingers we are, we are usually rubbing the eyes. That is also a predisposing factor, etiologic factors for arising the external hordeolum or style. Okay, some chronic blepharitis, diabetes, mellitus, 
Okay, say uh, excessive intake of alcohol, carbohydrates. Okay, these are the etiological factors. Same as that of this calcium or meibomin cyst. But the difference is that in calcium or meibomin cyst, there won't be any infection. But the gland is different. That is a non-infective granuloma, the swelling of the meibomin gland. But here, the external hordeola or a style that is an infective condition, suppressive inflammation of the glands of this or more. Okay, so because of that, the symptoms and signs will be different. Here, pain will be there, swelling will be there related to the lid margin. Here in calcium, the swelling that is away from the lid margin, but in external hordeola or style, the swelling will be related to the lid margin. Okay, so there will be infection. So according to that, cellulitis stage will be there, abscess formation will be there. Okay, as I, when we are coming to the treatment part, some four compresses or we can relieve the uh, swelling source and symptoms. Pain will be relieved with the four compresses. Or otherwise, when the pus is formed at the lid margin related to the cilia, when we are removing the cilia related to the infected glands, when we are removing the cilia, the pus will be discharged from the swelling. From this picture, you can see that the swelling that is related to the lid margin and the pus point is that is related to the cilia that is related to the glands of cis or mold. When we are removing the, when we are plucked and remove the cilia, the pus will be drained out, pus will be discharged from the opening. So that is the difference between external hordeola and the calcium. Okay, according to the condition, this cumbia also can be correlated with this external hordeola. Okay, cumbia, Krishna, Pittena, Bhavanda, Vakma, Kumbiga, Bijava, and the Varma, they are erasing some swelling. Okay, due to the vitiation of Pitta and blackish in color and Kumbiga, Bijava. So, when you are hearing, when you are hearing the name of the disease, you will get some points, Kumbiga, that. So, there arises some Pitagas that is related to, that is similar to that of Kumbiga, Bija. Okay, so when you are removing the pus or some, we are draining of the contents, again also that will arise. Again, the swelling will arise. Okay, so we can correlate this external body along or style. Okay, these are the conditions, etiological factors, symptoms, pain will be there, signs are there, according to the condition, cellulitic state or abscess formations are there, and we can do some port compressors or otherwise pus is formed. We can evacuate, we can remove the cilia, we can drain out the pus. From this picture, you will get an idea about the external body along or style. Okay, then comes to the third disease, Kovaki. That is also a Degana Satya, Kavaja, Degana Satya, Vyadi, it's a Varmanda Yoga. Okay, so Sudhajanan and Vakpada Ajarya also described about Kovaki. How Ajarya Vakpada described about Kovaki? Kovaki, Pridaka, Shweta Sashrapa. Okay, Gana Kava, due to the vision of Kava Dosha, there are some eruptions, Pridaka like eruptions. Kovaki, Pridaka, Shweta Sashrapa. Like that of a Shweta Sarshava, white mustard seeds. But in according to Susuda Ajarya, that is Dekta Sarshava Sankeba. According to Susuda Ajarya, Ajarya told that that is similar to that of red mustard seeds. But Ajarya Bakura told that that is Shweta Sarshava Sankeba. Okay. Chopa Ubadeha Dukkandu Pichila Asru Samanida. Okay. Due to the vitiation of the Kabadosha, where there is some Pitagas that is similar to that of. Shweta Sarshaba, okay, that is the features. Shweta Sarshaba Sandiva, they are erased and filled as and so on. Swelling will be there, Upa Deham, Ruk Kandu Pichidada, Asru Samanda. This type of discharge will be there, some sticky discharge will be there. These are the features of Kotaki, okay. This is a Legana, Sati Vyadi, Kapaja Vyadi, okay. So when you are coming to the treatment aspect, the detector mokshana, scarring Legana is described. Legana, Pradisarna, Prakshalna, Kabakara treatment is advised for Kotaki. And when we are coming to the correlation, can be correlated. We are always telling that can be correlated with trachoma. According to the condition, we can correlate with trachoma. Okay, so what is a trachoma? Trachoma, that is a condition, that is a chronic keratoconjunctivitis, that is an inflammation of the epithelium of the conjunctiva and the cornea. Chronic keratoconjunctivitis that is called as trachoma, affecting the superficial epithelium of conjunctiva and cornea simultaneously. Not affecting only on the conjunctiva, it is affecting the cornea also. 
that is the special feature of trachoma okay there are some papillary matter relations follicular relations will be happen according to the condition of the trachoma okay that is a greek word trachoma that means that is uh, means that rough in nature rough in nature the casualty organs is chlamydia trachomatis but the importance of this disease is that this is a severe condition and this is happening this is the positive factor for 15 to 20 percentage of the world blindness only after the cataract that is the importance of trachoma that is causing 50 to 20 percentage of the world blindness only second to the cataract okay so trachoma is a very important disease because of the causative organism chlamydia trachomatis is a is many is a mild disease that is similar to that of a conjunctivitis but it is affecting the cornea also is a chronic keratoconjunctivitis okay pure trachoma or mild trachoma that is symptomless when it is a secondary infection that will cause the problems okay in the minor stages or mild stages that is similar to that some a conjunctivitis when it is affecting the cornea there are some corneal erosions corneal ulcers and that will cause corneal opacity and that will cause the blindness to the patient okay there are some pedagogues because of the infection and due to the chlamydia trachomatis okay there arise some infection in the palpable conjunctiva and that is causing according to this condition we can correlate with this pathology also okay so pathology can be correlated with this trachoma according to the condition okay so mild foreign body sensation lacrimation stickiness will be there okay when we are coming to the signs conjunctive signs are there and coronal signs are also there Congenital devil congestion, follicles, papillae, scarring, concretions, these are the features according to the severity of the disease. And coronal signs are also there, superficial keratitis, and some herbal follicles, panis formation, some new vesicles, means vascularization will be there over the cornea. And due to the keratitis, there arise some ulcer formation. After hearing the ulcer, there arise some pits, herbal pits will be there. And after that, corneal opacity will be there. These are the conditions, these are the signs of the cornea according to the severity of the disease. So that is why when then arise after arise in the corneal opacity, that is causing the blindness to the patients. Okay. So topical therapy, systemic therapy, hygienic measures should be administered as a management for this trachoma. So trachoma according to the condition, we can correlate with potaki. So then come to the Vakma Sarkara or Sigata Vakma Vakbadajari also described about Vakma Sarkara. From the name itself, you will get the identity, you will get the symptoms of the disease. Vakma Sarkara or Sigata Vakma means that is a Vakma Gadaroga. Sigata or Sigata or Sarkara type of eruptions will be there. Okay, some sand like particles, sand particles like eruptions, Pedagas will be there. Vakma Sarkara or Sigata Vakma. Sandi Pavate Legana Sandi Vyadi. Vakmano and the Duksha Pitaga, Sikada Vakma, that is called as Sikada Vakma. Could you be Vakma? Sikada Vakma, that means Sikada Vakma Pitagas are there. Vakmano and the Gara Duksha. Some Duksha Pitagas, Gara Pitagas, like that of Sikada. So from the name itself, you will get some, get some idea about the disease. Vakma Sarkar or Sikada Vakma, told by Susurda Jari and Vakma Jari also. So, one more on the Gara Duksha Pitaga, Sigato Vama, that is called as Sigara Vama. So, treatment is as that, like that of Unsangir and Kumbiga, Jagara Gamma is advised. So, can be correlated with Dithyasis conjunctiva, that is the condition. We can see trachoma after the infection, there arise some pitagas like that of sand particles. From this picture, you will get an idea. White sand particle like that of pitagas eruptions are there in the palpable conjunctiva that is called as lithiasis conjunctiva. So, this condition can be correlated with Vakma Sarkara or Sikata Vakma. From this picture, you can get the idea some sand particles or Sikata like that of pitagas eruptions are there in the palpable conjunctiva related to Vakma. Okay, so this condition can be correlated with Sikata Vakma or Vakma Sarkara. Okay. So, lithiasis conjunctiva is a part of a condition of trachoma that can be correlated with Vakma Sarkara or Sigala Vakma. Then come to the Sushkarsha. So, Susurajari only told about Sushkarsha. 
ശുഷ്ക അർച്ച എന്താ നെയിം ഇസ് ലൂരിയറ്റ് ഐഡിയ ഇറപ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ ശുഷ്കർഷ Shushka Arsha type of eruption. Okay. Polypil like eruption from the palpable conjunctiva. Long sprout like rough immobile eruption like that of a polyp. Commonly arising from the palpable conjunctiva. So this type of eruption is called as Shushka Arsha. So can be called as polyp of palpable conjunctiva. Can be, can be correlated with Shushka Arsha. Okay. From this picture, you will get an idea about Shushka Arsha. Shushka Arsha is a work on the yoga told by only by Susurdhacharya, from the name itself you will get an idea. Shushka Arsha means like a rough polyp like eruption from the palpable conjunctiva. That is called as Shushka Arsha. Okay, a polyp like eruption from the palpable conjunctiva is called as Shushka Arsha. Chaitanya Karma is advised. Okay, you have to cut and remove the eruption. You can, we can cut and remove the polyp. Okay, so that is the treatment. Then comes to the Anjana Namika. Anjana Namika is told by Susurra Ajarya and Vakpada Ajarya. It's a Rektaja, Vedana Sadhi Vyadi. How Ajarya Vakpada describe our Anjana Namika. Maddeva Varmano Andeva Kandusha Rukpa Adhisthira Mudga Matra Asra Jagatamba Pidaga Anjana Namika. Mudga Matra, he said like that, the Pidagas are arise similar to that of a green gram. Mudga Matra, due to the appreciation of There are arise of pitagas like that of mudga, green gram sized pitagas arise in the varma. So these type of eruptions are called as anjana namiga, maddeva, varmana andeva. Sometimes that is arising in the middle part of the varma or in the last or end part of the varma. There are arise of pitagas, kandu, usha, yug. These are the conditions, these are the symptoms, signs and symptoms for anjana namiga, kandu. Some itching will be there, very sensation, pain will be there. Okay, still that one mudga matra, green gram size pedagas are there. Okay, and asra tamra parnotum will be there. This type of pedagas are called as anjana namika, green gram shape of pedagas are there. Okay, like that also, Ajay Susuda also described about anjana namika. The signs and symptoms are almost similar. So, sickle size is called as. Sayadana, Pairana Kama is advised, Nishpeedana, some massage can be done, some Pradisarana, okay, some Dekhtakara, Pittakara treatment can be advised. So this can be correlated with style. According to the condition, this can be correlated with style or external cordiolum. We already described about external cordiolum or style. That is a superative condition, inflammative condition, superative inflammative, inflammation of the glands of cis or more, that is called as external cordiolum or style okay what are the predisposing factors etiological factors signs and symptoms okay that already discussed about external cordiolum or style so according to the condition this anjana namika can be correlated with this external cordiolum or style okay then come to the behala varma so behala varma that is also swelling there there is some pedagalized swelling will be there Ajayya Vakpada described, how he described about Behala Varma. Behala Mamsi Sav Varmai Chiyade Samai. Means there is some muscular growth will be there. Giving some bulky appearance to the Varma. Due to the swelling, there is some bulky appearance to the Varma. And Behala Mamsi means there is some muscular growth. Behala Behala Mamsi Sav Varmai. Same that of color of the mom's pinda, there arise some swelling. Okay. Like that also, Susura Jari also described about Bhagala Varma. Some pedagas are arise and some related to some a big pedaga, there are some small pedagas and hold together, they are giving a mass appearance, mass swelling appearance to the lid, to the that is called as Bhagala Varma. That is a Tridoshaja, Lekana Sati Vyadi. From this picture, you will get an idea if there is any swelling 
like that of a calcium, multiple calciums are there, then together they will create a large swelling over the lid, large swelling over the burma. Then that swelling is called as Behala burma. So Behala burma, according to the condition, can be correlated with, can be correlated with multiple calcium. So according to Susada there are some how many pedagas are there? Together they are giving some a large swelling to the large swelling appearance to the varma. Okay. So but according to Vakpada area, that is a muscular load. And that is giving a bulky appearance to the varma. So here also we can correlate with multiple calcium, multiple calcium, tarsal cyst or megomin cyst. Then <coughs> when they are two to three in number or three to four in number, they will together will give a mass appearance some large swelling to the varma. So that can be correlated with this behala varma, can be correlated with multiple calcium. Legana karma is advised. Legana karma is advised. Trudoshaja legana sabiriyati is behala varma. So then comes to the varma avabandha. So Sura Jaya only described about varma avabandha. That is the sannipata the legana sabiriyati. Kandubana alpato dena varma shobena yonara. Alpato dena. Mild pain will be there. Varma shoba. There will be some Swelling will be there. Na samam chadir achi bhavet danda sa varmana. And mild pricking pain will be there. Because of the swelling, the patient cannot close the eye properly. That is a sanjipada lagana sanjipyadi. From this speaker, any type of swelling, there is a large swelling is there at the varma. And because of the swelling, the patient cannot close the eye properly. So this condition can be correlated with varma or bandha. Okay, so Sudhajari only told about varma or bandha. A large swelling, shoba with mild pain. There are some swelling, large swelling. Because of the swelling, the patient cannot close the eye properly. This is a condition of varma or bandha. That is a legana sati vyadi. Lekta mokshana can be advised. Legana gamma can be too. Chodhara treatment can be advised. Okay, and this can be correlated with any type of inflammatory swelling to the eye. Any type of inflammatory swelling related to the Vatma, related to the lids can be correlated with Vatma Vodanda. From this picture, we will get an idea. Now the swelling is there. Due to any inflammatory conditions, the other swelling is there. Because of the swelling, the patient cannot close the eye properly. Mild pain will be there. Okay, so this condition is called as Vatma Vodanda. Then Krishna Vatma. So Susudrajayam only describe about Krishna Vatma, Krishna Tvam. Okay, Ketta Jalagana Sadi Vyadi. Mrdu Alpa Vedana Tamam Yad Vatma Sam. Asamavayaja, Agasmacha, Bhavet, Yaktam, Krishna Varmam, Tadadi say. So there are some swelling like with the mild pain. There are some swelling. Eyelids are become soft because of that. And coppery colored swelling will be there. Mild pain will be there. And because of the condition, they suddenly the color will be changed to red in color. First time there will be coppery colored swelling will be there. And afterwards, some, the color will be changed to red in color. So these type of swellings, these type of eruptions or swelling related to the varma is called as klishta varma. That's a rektaja dushti, rektaja sati vyadi, legana sati vyadi. Okay, klishta varma is only told by susurda acharya. Legana varma is also advised for klishta varma. And this condition also can be correlated, but correlated with different types of allergic conjunctivitis. Different types of allergic conjunctivitis are there. According to the condition of the allergic conjunctivitis, we can correlate with cleshta varma. If there is any coppery colored swelling because of the conjunctivitis, because of the inflammation, if there is any coppery red colored swelling, and because of this inflammation, iris became soft and coppery in color, then we can correlate with cleshta varma. And mild pain will be there. Okay. So allergic conjunctivitis is, is so many varieties are there. Conjunctivity that there will be inflammation over the conjunctiva, whether it is palpebral or bulbar conjunctiva, there, there is some inflammation due to the allergic reaction. Okay, so different types are there, some simple allergic reaction due to some seasonal changes, some vernal keratoconjunctivity will be there, so due to some <coughs> so the allergic reaction, atopic keratoconjunctivity will be there, some due to some allergic reaction, there there is some papillary formation, giant papillary conjunctivities will be there, flicted nullar keratin conjunctivities will be there, and contact dermato conjunctivities will be there. These are the some different types of allergic conjunctivities. According to the condition of the conjunctivities, allergic conjunctivities, we can correlate with this Krishna Varma. Whether there is a coppery color or red color swelling because of the inflammation, mild pain, and eyelid became soft, 
and this type of allergic reaction, allergic continuous, this can be correlated with Krishnavarma. Okay, Krishnavarma only told by Susurata Acharya. Different types of allergic reaction, allergic conjunctivitis are there. Simple one, vernal keratoconjunctivitis, atopic keratoconjunctivitis, and giant papillary one is there. Plictanular keratoconjunctivitis are there, and contact dermatoconjunctivitis are there. According to the condition, we can call it Krishnavarma. Okay, this is simple allergic conjunctivitis. From these pictures, we can get an idea that iris are somewhat coppery colored or red in color, and because of the conjunctivitis, some mild swelling will be there, mild pain will be there, and when we are stretching over the lid, lid will be somewhat soft. So, this condition can be correlated with this Krishnavarma. Okay, so then come to the next. This is Varmakardama. Okay, Varmakardama. From the name itself, we will get some idea about this disease. Kardama. Okay. So this this is also told by Susurda Jari and Vakbadajaya. Vakbadajaya told like this. Krishnam to Kardama. Kardama upamam. So I am always telling that when you are hearing some diseases, from the name itself, you will get an idea about the disease. You will get some symptoms, signs or symptoms about the disease. So Ajaya Vakbadajaya told us Krishnam, that is blackish in color. Kardama upama. That means muddy clay like swelling will be there. Moist. Means there are some swelling that is blackish in color, like that of a muddy clay. Krishna to Kardamam, Kardamopamam. So, this type of swelling is called as Varma Kardama. Susudhajari also described Varma Kardama. Varma Kardama. I say Sanni Padaja Legan Sati Vyati. And that is it. According to Susudhajari, that is a progressive stage of Krishna Varma. Ajari Susudha described about Krishna Varma. When it is not treated properly, that will lead to Varma Kardama. Okay. And Vishiri Kapai Terekta, that is causing the Varma Kardama, and inflammation will be aggravated and Pitta leading to this swelling or condition of the Varma Kardama. But according to Vagbana, their condition is Varma Kardama or Kardama, Varma Kardama, that is Kardama Upama, like that way, clay like, muddy clay like swelling will be there. The Krishna Varma form, blackish color, clay, like that of swelling will be there. That is called as Varma Kardama. And Vegana Satyadi, Brahma Shodhagar Chikilsa is also advised. And this can also be correlated with different types of allergic conjunctivitis. And we already discussed that allergic conjunctivitis are so many varieties are there. According to different conditions, we can correlate with this Varma Kardama or Krishna Varma. Okay, according to the different types of Allergic conjunctivitis. Sometimes we can correlate with Varma Kardama or Krishna Varma. Okay. Allergic conjunctivitis. In allergic conjunctivitis, when we are coming to the signs and symptoms, in itching will be there, burning sensation, watering will be there, photophobia will be there, hyperemia, mild swelling will be there, chemosis will be there at the conjunctiva, papillary reactions, edema of the leaves will be there. Okay. According to the condition, according to the allergic reaction, according to the allergic conjunctivitis, if there is any swelling, if the swelling is similar to that of some copper color, means or otherwise Krishna Varma, Krishna means Ardama like that, that of multi clay color or Krishna Varma will be there, then we can correlate with this Varma Kardama or otherwise Krishna Varma. Okay, so according to the allergic reaction, allergic and we can correlate with Varma Kardama. In any type of allergic and this type of phenomena, this type of signs and symptoms we can see. Itching, brain sensation, photophobia, watering, mild edema, chemosis, okay, hyperemia, these type of signs and symptoms commonly we can see in any type of allergic conjunctivitis. Okay, then Shama Varma, Shama Varma will be there. From the name itself, we will get an idea. Shama Varma, Akurit Vakbara Jaya, Shama Varma, Maresa Asre, Shama, Duk, Clear the Shobabad, Shama Varma will be there. Duk, Clear the and Shoba is there due to the appreciation of. Tridosha along with Asrai, Dekta along with Tridosha, that is causing Shabu Varma, that is a Sadi Baba, the Legan Sadi Vyadi, according to Susurda Jaria. Susurda Jaria also described Shabu Varma. Okay, I will speak in gray or blackish in color. Painful swelling will be there. Look, clear the tomb will be there. Look, will be there. Pain will be there. This type of Shoba is called as Shabu Varma. Shabu Varma, Mare Sa Asrai, Shabu, to clear the Shoba one. Okay. So, I can describe it like that. Trudosha and Dekta is causing the disease. Degana Sati Vyati, Pradisana also advised internal medicines to reduce the inflammation, to reduce the <coughs> doshas, 
ശ്രുതോഷ രക്ത ഹര ചികിത്സ ക്യാൻ ബി അഡ്വൈസ് ലേഖന ഓർ പ്രതിസാരണ ഓർ ഇൻറെ ഇൻ ജനറലി വി ക്യാൻ ഗീവ് സം മെഡിസിൻസ് ആൾസോ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ആൾസോ ക്യാൻ ബി കോറിലേറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫ്ലമേഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ ഡിഫറെന്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് കൺജിങ്കിവൈറ്റിസ് ആൻഡ് അലർജിക് ഓർ എനി ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് കൺജിങ്കിവൈറ്റിസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ കോസിങ് സം ശാമുകർണത്ത് ഓഫ് പെയിൻ ഓർ ക്ലേദത്വം ഓക്കെ ശോഭ എഡി മാറ്റസ് കണ്ടീഷൻസ് ഓവർ ദ ലീഡ് ഫോർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ കണ്ടീഷൻ ഇസ് ദർ എനി ശാമുകർണത്വം ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഇൻഫ്ലമേഷൻ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി കൺജിങ്കിവൈറ്റിസ് if there is any sharp or not some pain okay some discharge khedatham will be there then we can go like this chava varma chava varma okay that is a sannipada the legana sadhi vadi so chava varma that is that can be according to the condition that can be correlated with the conjunctivitis it is the inflammation of the conjunctiva okay srishta varma srishta varma only told by astrajyotara bambada jay only told but srishta varma srishta kyam varma ni srishte kandu soyudu yagne kandu each will be there soyudu sani will be there yagam okay so this type of conditions will be there so because of the condition because of the inflammation or any type of dosha vitiations i need to stick together because of the dosha vitiation i need to stick together each will be there kandu will be there soyudu will be there srishta kam what means srishte the varmas are joined together because of the so it is more some discharge okay this type of condition is called as shrishta varma so legana sadhi vyadhi is there this is legana sadhi vyadhi okay and when it comes to the klinna varma klinna varma that is told by susudha jay only kamaja besha sadhi vyadhi adhijam bahidala sunam andaha klinnam externally there will be swelling andaha klinnatum will be there some stickiness discharge will be there externally there will be swelling and internally there will be some sticky discharge will be there and kandu nistoda bodhishtam there will be itching will be there and pricking pain with severe itching and kandu nistoda bodhishtam toda will be there kandu will be there klinna varma taduchide so from the name itself you can understand klinna varma means there will be klinnatom okay klinnatom will be there externally there will be swelling and internally some sticky discharge will be there klinnatom will be there and because of the kandu kandu da nistoda pain and itching will be there so this disease is told by susurda acharya that is a kamaja vesha sadhi vyadhi and kamaja chikitsa kamaja kamaja chikitsa is advised and this is also correlated with conjunctivitis different types of conjunctivitis then if there is any klinnatwa discharge pain swelling severe itching condition then that type of conjunctivitis can be correlated with klinnavarma okay so conjunctivitis we already discussed that conjunctivitis that is the inflammation of the conjunctiva 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 is inflamed okay and classically defined as conjunctival hyperemia hyperemia that is associated with a discharge whether it may be so there will be some inflammation of the conjunctiva hyperemia will be there and along with that, that is associated with any type of discharge sometimes it may be watery discharge or mucoid discharge or mucopurulent discharge or a purulent discharge okay so different types of discharge sometimes they are only watery discharge so any type of inflammation that is causing the conjunctiva hyperemia will be there attached with along with this different types of discharge watery mucoid or mucopurulent or purulent discharge this type of condition is called as conjunctivitis different types of etiology factors are there sometimes there will be infective condition or due to any allergic reaction there there is some conjunctivitis or due to some irritation from any positive organism due to some chemical reactions or some irritative factor there there is some conjunctivitis or some keratotic conjunctivitis associated with some skin disorders or due to some trauma okay there there is some conjunctivitis or some keratotic conjunctivitis with idiopathic causes these are the etiology factors for causing conjunctivitis so clinna varma that can be correlated with the conjunctivitis there will be some clinnatum externally there will be swelling kandu pain and will be there okay so from this picture you can understand that there there is some swelling internally inside there is clinnatum some sticky discharge will be there pain and swelling will be there kandu itching will be there so this kind of conjunctivitis can be correlated with clinna varma so a clinna varma from the name itself you can understand that a clinna varma there won't be any clinnatum a clinna varma that is also told only by susurdhajarya to dosha besha sadhi vyadhi there won't be any suppression there won't be any infection okay but i need to stick together because of the condition because of any condition i need to stick together without any infection 
जैसे दाउदानी दाउदानी संबंधी दे मींस वी कैन नॉट रिमूव द स्टिकीनेस द आई विल से स्टिक टुगेदर व्हेन वी आर वॉशिंग एंड अगेन एंड अगेन वी कैन नॉट रिमूव द स्टिकीनेस स्टिकिंग टुगेदर ओके आई विल से स्टिक स्टिक टुगेदर दैट आर जॉइन टुगेदर वी कैन नॉट रिमूव व्हेन वी आर वॉशिंग एंड अगेन एंड अगेन वी कैन नॉट रिमूव द joining of the eyelids joining of the vatma okay this type of condition is called a clinna vatma from the name is you can get an idea a clinna vatma means there won't be any clinna to okay as said according to sutra that is trudoshagara chikitsa can be advised trudoshagara chikitsa can be advised for a clinna vatma so this condition and the condition can be correlated with angelo glyphron that is what is angelo glyphron from this picture you will get an idea the red margins of the upper and lower lid that are joined together that is the condition is called angelo glyphron okay adhesion between the two lid margins okay upper and lower lid margins are joined joined together sometimes the whole lid margin so upper and lower lid that will be joined together or otherwise in some part in middle part or in lateral aspect or medial aspect that will join together so this type of joining adhesion is between the lid margins of upper and lower lid this condition is called as called as angelo glyphron something something that may be a congenital deformity or otherwise that may cause because of any infection or after some injury after healing of some injury due to some burns or some chemical injury after due to some traumatic injury after healing of that wound there arises some joining of this lid margin together okay upper and lower lid join together at the lid margin Okay, so this condition is called as angelo glyphron. So this joint together condition, adhesion between this, this uh, lid margins of the upper and lower lid can be correlated with a clinna vatma. A clinna vatma, there won't be any clinna form. There won't be any infective condition will be there. So according to condition, can be correlated with, can be correlated with angelo glyphron. Angelo glyphron is a condition where the lid margins of the upper and lower lid are joined together. Sometimes that may be a hole. Complete one. Sometimes that will be incomplete. Sometimes that will be congenital one. Sometimes that may be because of the some injuries, some some trauma, or due to some chemical burns, thermal burns. Okay. So that is treatment we have to exercise to move the joint. Okay. From this picture we can get an idea about angelo glyphron. Or otherwise, this acrylic vatma we can go sometimes correlate with simple glyphron. Simple glyphron is an another condition where from this picture we will get an idea. simply from there the leads means the palpable and bulbar conjunctiva that are joining together in angelo glyphron the lid margins are joining together but in simply from the palpable and bulbar conjunctiva are joining together okay the lid means and the here are joining together where because of adhesion of the palpable and bulbar conjunctiva after healing of some injuries due to some healing of the ulcers when we are not care properly and we are not treated properly some ulcers after the healing of some ulcers this palpable and bulbar conjunctiva that will join together so this condition is called as simply fraud okay so according to the condition sometimes we can correlate it with this acrylic vatma so that is condition as simply fraud okay simply fraud after healing of some ulcers after healing of some ulcers this palpable and bulbar conjunctiva that will join together okay after some injuries or some chemical injury or thermal injury due to some after healing of some ulcers this may happen okay that will cause some difficulty of gait movements and that will cause diplopia and that will cause lack of thalamus the patient cannot close the eye properly this are the condition is simple from from this picture you will get an idea the palpable and the bulbar conjunctiva joined together and simple from and angelo glyphron are different angelo glyphron the lid margin is joined together but in simple from the palpable and bulbar conjunctiva are joined together and according to the condition can be correlated with this acrylic vatma acrylic vatma there won't be any clinical or there won't be any discharge means there won't be any infective condition when we are <coughs> washing again and again daudani daudani means again and again we are washing then also we cannot remove the adhesion between the leads that is the condition in acrylic vatma so the condition according to the condition we can correlate with angelo glyphron or simple glyphron okay then come to the vadaha vatma vadaha vatma that is a vatma drava from the name itself you will get an idea vadaja disorder vadaja asadhi vyadhi according to susudha jariya and vadaja disorder that is asadhi vyadhi vadaja asadhi vyadhi how ajari vapada describe about vadaha vatma 
ചേഷ്ട <laughs> the sandhi the varma the varma or the eyelid that is devoid of movements because of the vitiated vata the vata is vitiated and that is causing the disease this is a vata ja asadhi vyadhi vata ja asadhi vyadhi varma yetu nimilide vimukta sandhi nischeshtam heenam vata hada hita okay how that is why how ajari varma is described about vata hada varma same that of susu rajari also described this is a vataja asadhi vyadhi this condition can be correlated with lagophthalmos or ptosis okay what is lagophthalmos so lagophthalmos is a condition where the patient cannot voluntarily cannot close the eye properly the patient cannot close the eyelids properly in a voluntary manner inability to close the eyelids in a voluntary manner the patient cannot close the eyelids properly so because of the parallelism of the orbicular ocular muscles the patient can not close the eye properly here in this picture you will get an idea in the left eye the patient cannot close the eye properly the when we are he is voluntarily doing the closure the patient cannot close the eye properly what are the actual things like that due to the due to the paralysis of the orbicular 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 ocular muscle or sometimes due to some simple fraud or due to some severe atrophion severe atrophion or sometimes due to some simply from when the palpable or bulbar conjunctiva are joined together then also the patient cannot close the eye properly or otherwise due to the paralysis of orbicular ocular muscle this is the condition of lack of thalamus and when the patient is cannot close the eye properly that conjunctiva and the cornea that is exposed all the time and that will cause the evaporation of the tear and that will cause congenital cornea cirrhosis and exposure keratitis these are some complications of lack of thalamus okay so for as a treatment we can do artificial tears soft bandage soft bandage contact lenses or otherwise we can undo it for surgery so what the other one can be according to the condition we can correlate with lack of thalamus or otherwise ptosis what is ptosis ptosis is an abnormal drooping of the upper eyelid normally the upper eyelid will cover the upper one sixth of the cornea if it is covering more than that if the upper eyelid that is covering more than 2 mm of the upper part of the cornea then that is condition is called as ptosis abnormal drooping of the upper eyelid is called as ptosis here what is the difference lack of thalamus the patient cannot voluntarily close the eye properly i did properly okay but here that is abnormal drooping of the upper eyelid the patient's upper eyelid is droop and that is covering more than the 2 mm of the upper part of the cornea more than 1/6 of the cornea the upper lid is covering okay that condition is called as ptosis there may be congenital deformity will, will be there or some acquired causes will be there congenital simple congenital <coughs> deformity will be there or otherwise associated with some weakness of superior rectus muscle these are some congenital deformity of ptosis or, or because of acquired factors some neurogenic factors or some myogenic factors or some aponeuric neurotic factors of the muscles or some mechanical obstruction that may also cause this ptosis so ptosis is an abnormal drooping of the upper eyelid but lack of thalamus the patient cannot voluntarily close the eyelids that is the difference from this picture you can get an idea of lack of thalamus from this picture you can get an idea of ptosis okay so according to the condition of the ptosis and lack of thalamus we can go with vata hada patma vata hada patma that is an asadhi vyadhi vata disorder okay so that can be correlated with lack of thalamus or ptosis and we'll come to the lekana lekana that is a kavaj asadhi vyadhi according to susudha acharya vapada acharya also describe about describe about lekana grandi pandu arup pandra kanduman kadinaga bhava kola matra sa lekana kinjit alpatadu adava that is a kabaj disorder according to vagbadajari also that is a kabaj disorder grandi pandu aru there won't be any pain pandra kandu man kadinaga kabal kandu itching will be there 
കഠിന സ്വല്യം വിൽബിൻ്റെ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ദ വിശേഷം കബാം അൻ കോല മാത്ര പ്രമാണ ദ സ്വല്യം വിൽബിൻ സിമിലർ ടു ദാറ്റ് കോല മാത്ര കോല ദ സൈസ് ഇസ് സിമിലർ ടു ദാറ്റ് കോല കോല മാത്ര പ്രമാണ ദ എറൈസ് ഓഫ് ബിഡ ദ എറൈസ് ഓഫ് സ്വല്യം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് എസ് ലഗന എ ലാർജ് നോൺ സൂപ്രേറ്റീവ് പെയിൻഡ് സ്വല്യം ഹാർട്ട് സിസ്റ്റിക് സ്വല്യം ഫോം ദ ഐഡിയൽ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് കറപ്ഷൻ ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് സ്വല്യം കാൻ ബി കോൾഡ് എസ് ലഗന ഓക്കെ So, Lekana is a Kapadja, Saathi Gadi, Vedana is advised. So, Grandi, Pandu, Arupada, Kanduman, Kalinagal Kapa, due to the Vishishan of Kapa, there are some Sulim. Kalinak Sulim will be there. Okay, Grandi will be there. There are some Sulim. Not so pretty, painted Sulim will be arise. So, Kola Matra Salakana, that is the size of a Kola Matra, this type of eruption is called as Lekana. Okay, so chikil says advice like that, bear the gum is advice, pradhisarna is advice, chara and akne marathma is advice for treating lekana. So this can be also correlated with calasion, we already described about calasion or mebomensis or tarsal cyst, that is a non superative granuloma, this swelling of the mebomen gland, that swelling will be away from the lead margin, then there won't be that much pain will be there, there won't be that much pain, and then swelling will be away from the lead margin, and we can find some openings from uh, <coughs> red or again opening will be there when we are everything the pulp will continue we can see some yellowish reddish opening will be there okay so this can be this lagana can be correlated with calasion or meibomensis or a tarsal cyst from this picture we can get an idea about the lagana kola matra sarmana kola matra there there is some swelling with the vegetation of kapadosha കപദോഷ ദേർ കറി സം സ്വല്ലിംഗ് ഗ്രന്ദി വിത്ത് പാണ്ടു വാന അരു പാഗഹ ഓക്കേ ദേർ കറി സം സ്വല്ലിംഗ് ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് സ്വല്ലിംഗ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് ആസ് കൻ ബി കോൾഡ് ആസ് ലെഗന ആൻഡ് ബി കോമ്പൈൻഡ് വിത്ത് കലാസിയോൺ ഓർ മെബോമിൻസിസ് ഓർ സെ ടാർസൽ സിസ് ഓക്കേ സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ബിസവർമ സുസ്വരാജൻ മാൽബോഡാജരി ആൾസോ ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ഔട്ട് ബിസവർമ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ത്രിദോഷജ സാധി വ്യാധി സോ മാൽബോഡാജരി ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്തു യാപ്പി വ്യാധി ബിസവർമ ദോഷേ വർമ ബഹി ശൂനം yet andha sushma kajidam so bisavarma from the name itself you will get an idea so bisa type of that means externally there will be swelling will be there internally there will be minute opening minute pores will be there okay like that of a bisa so from the name itself you will get an idea bisavarma there will be a swelling there will be a large swelling in external aspect there will be a swelling but internally there will be minute pores will be there സൂക്ഷ്മകാജിതം ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദോഷേ വർമ ബഹിശൂനം യത് അന്തഹ സൂക്ഷ്മകാജിതം എക്സ്റ്റേണലി ദേർ വിൽ ബി സ്വല്ലിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഇന്റേണലി ദർ വിൽ ബി മൈനൂട്ട് ഓപ്പണിങ്സ് വിൽ ബി ദേർ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ സസ്രാവം അന്തർ ഉദകം വിസാവം ബിസവർമഹ വിസാവം ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ബിസ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ സ്റ്റോക്ക് ഓഫ് എ ലോട്ടസ് ഫ്ലവർ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ത്രെഡ് ഓഫ് എ ലോട്ടസ് ഫ്ലവർ പിന്നെ കട്ടിങ് എ ലോട്ടസ് ഫ്ലവർ there there is some, there we can see some minute openings like that of a bisa like that like that of a stalk stalk of a lotus flower there we can see minute openings in the inner aspect of the varma but actually there will be soli will be there so this type of soli can be called as bisa varma from the name is a bisa varma that is a soli that that of a bisa okay so there will be soli will be there in the external aspect in generally there will be minor openings will be there like that of a bisa that is the simply peculiar character of the bisa varma that is the dosha ja sadhi vyabhi okay so sir the government is advised vedana is advised our chornana bandana is also advised some porous edema of iris can be correlated with bisa varma that is because of any factor due to some infection or inflammatory condition if there is any swelling in external aspect then we are everything that is if you are seeing some porous edema when we are seeing some minor openings in the in the inner aspect of the varma inner aspect of the lid then that type of swelling that type of porous edema can be correlated with this bisa varma okay then comes the other important this is pakshma kopa okay pakshma kopa is also told by dr rajare but according to varma rajare that is pakshma parota okay pakshma kopa told by dr rajare according to varma rajare that is pakshma parota okay so that is a tridosha the yapi vyadi that is a yapi vyadi how acharya describe what describe about pakshma parota 
this condition can be correlated with tracheosis or endopion. What is tracheosis? Tracheosis is nothing but that is a misdirected cilia. That is the cilia that is pointing towards the cornea or towards the eyeball. But the lip margin that will be normal. Okay, the invert this misdirected. The misdirected means the tracheosis in which the cilia or the eyelashes that is misdirected towards the eyeball and the eye, <coughs> eyelid margin that will mean normal condition without any deformity of the eyelid margin the cilia or the eyelashes that is misdirected towards the eyeball that condition is called as tracheosis if the eyelid margin is also deformed there is a deformity of the eyelid margin that is also turned and the eyelashes is also turned towards the misdirected towards the eyeball then that is called as a pseudo tracheosis okay that is tracheosis that is a condition where the eyelid margin that is a normal condition but the cilia or the eyelashes or the pakshma that is misdirected that is pointing towards the eyeball okay different etiologic factors are there due to some trachoma due to some ulcerative arthritis due to some external hordeola due to some mechanical injuries due to some birds due to this condition there arise some misdirected cilia okay so this is, this is called condition is called as tracheosis definitely because of the misdirected cilia when it is touching over the cornea or cornea there will be <coughs> irritation foreign body sensation watering will be there photophobia will be there pain will be there these are the condition these are the symptoms for tracheosis and signs when it is the misdirected cilia that is touching over the cornea or cornea reflex reflex spasm will be there photophobia will be there conjunctival conjunction will be there some scarring over the cornea will be there due to whether it is a chronic one that will cause some corneal opacity that will make cause some corneal opacity will be there so these are the signs and symptoms for this tracheosis okay then it is a complicated condition that will cause some corneal abrasions corneal scarring corneal opacities corneal vascularization some may cause some non healing corneal ascites also so these are the conditions these are the complications for this tracheosis so epilation is the treatment electrolysis is the treatment cryo epilation is the a treatment method and surgical conversion is a treatment method okay like that our archer is also told like that we have to remove the misdirected cilia or any other shard or can be advised like that also here is also told epilation cryo epilation electrolysis surgical conversion is also advised okay then come to the endopion endopion that is the inward turning of the lid margin inward turning of the lid margin is called as endopion different types are there congenital one is there cicatricial one is spastic one is there senile one is there mechanical one is there congenitally there may be inward turning of the lid margin will be there due to some contraction of the palpable conjecture there may arise some endopion may arise due to the spasm of the orbicular ocular muscles there may arise some endopion will be there due to some age related factors there may arise some endopion due to some mechanical effect because some enucleation there won't be the <coughs> eye ball is going inside then because of that mechanical effect that will also cause some endopion okay these are the different types of endopion endopion is a condition where the inward turning in turning of the dead margin so the signs are similar that is similar to that of tracheosis according to the grading of the turning of the in turning of the dead margin there are different grades are there grade 1 2 or 3 in grade 1 only the posterior lid border is in turn in grade 2 the inner marginal strip is in turn in grade 3 the whole lid margin is turned towards the eyeball so according to the turning of the lid margin different grades are there different types are there and these are the signs and symptoms is almost similar to that of tracheosis and complications is also similar to that of tracheosis treatment is a plastic reconstructive method okay so this pakshma kopa or pakshma parodha according to the condition can be correlated with tracheosis or the endopion okay from this first picture you can see that in this direct cilia there is a tracheosis but the lid margin is in normal condition and the second picture you can see that the lower lid margin that is turned in base in turning of the lid margin that is called as endopion endopion okay this is the difference between tracheosis and endopion so this condition can be called as 
ിസ് <laughs> Dosha, which is Vada Dosha, that is reaching through the serous, what must be said, and that is causing the problems. And especially during the waking up, the, waking up of the, after the sleep, the symptoms will arise. Okay. Supto di Rasakurde, what must be said, Pam Supurnava Nethrotum, Kritrol Miranam Asruja, what will be there, Kritrol Miranam, patient cannot open the eye properly. And the signs and symptoms will be subsided. We must then say that the patient is rubbing the eyes. When the patient is rubbing the eyes, eyelids, then he will get some relief. We must then say that the creature will be able to do it. This condition is called as creature will be able to do it. This is what the scientific idea is. This is happening after the waking up, after the sleep. And the patient will get some relief after rubbing over the eyelids. This is the condition is called as Kritron Milana. Okay, this is the Bada Hajil's can be advised. Snick the Masya, Snahi Dumabana, Anjani is also advised. Daksha Gurdabana is also advised and can be correlated with Blufrospasm. Not exactly, sometimes can be correlated with Blufrospasm. Blufrospasm, that is a condition where the sustained involuntary forceful closure of the eyelids. So there will be a forceful closure, involuntary forceful closure. Sustained closure of the eyelids. The condition is called as bilfrospasm. So, some did not exactly. Sometimes we can correlate with cryptomelia now. Okay. So, bilfrospasm. Just see what is bilfrospasm. There are some etiological factors are there. Some spontaneous or essential or idiopathic causes will be there. After some age, forty-five to sixty-five years of age, this will arise spontaneously. Okay. Some due to some idiopathic causes, this bilfrospasm. Can be arise or due to some reflex reactions. If there is any foreign body, some injury or ulcers over the cornea or conjunctiva, because of the reflex, because of the inflammation or infection, there arise some blepharospasm. There arise some involuntary sustained forceful closure of the closure of the eyelids due to some essential. There are some etiological different etiological factors are there due to some age problems. There arise due to some idiopathic causes. There arise some Blepharospasm, or other reason due to some reflex reaction, due to some keratitis, foreign body, or corneal ulcer, there arises some blepharospasm. Okay, on clinical features, we can see that epiphora will be there, eczema over the lower lid will be there, edema of the lids can be seen. And treatment is we can do some botulinum in toxin injection and facial lip operation can be done. Okay, that is called as blepharospasm. According to the condition, that can be correlated with this cryptoral melanoma. Not exactly. That is blepharospasm. Okay. From this, there are forceful closure, sustained involuntary forceful closure of the eyelids. That is called as blepharospasm. Then comes to the another. This is kuhunaga. After the area only included kuhunaga in part of the yoga. So Sudha also told about kuhunaga, but he never included among the seventy-six natural yogas. He discovered it in nine adhika ka pradeshaya adhyaya. So, Kukunaga is described by Ashtangadeya, Vagadaya in Vatmagadaroga. So, Kukunaga, Sishoreva, Dandor Patti Nimitaja, Sathe, Sishur Uchruna, Tamarasho, Vikshan Ashama, Sapvatma Sula Paitilia, Kamma Nasa Akshi Mardana. The Kukunaga is arising, that is a Vatmagadaroga, that is arising because of the dosha, dosha vitiation and because of the eruption of the teeth. Ajit Bhagavad told that when that <clears throat> Children, they are erasing, they are erecting. 
team then the problem will arise okay kubu no la sisu re wa den dol patti ni mitta ja saathe sisu uchru na tamara akcho vikshana akshama the children cannot see the <coughs> cannot tolerate the light sisu uchru na tamara aksham the will be solid will be there copper your when discovers will be there in able to see the objects pain will be there sticky distal will be there and because of the irritation the children will be always rubbing ear nose and eye okay so sabatma chula paitile pitile will be there and karna masa akshi mardana the child will always rub karna ear nasa and akshi because of the irritation the children they were always rubbing karna nasa and akshi kubunuga sisu re ba dendu utpatti nimitta ja because of the eruption of the teeth they are there is some problem sadhana sisu uchu tamra akshi the patient cannot the children cannot open the eye properly tamra aksha vikshana akshama sabatma shula pichitada karma nasa akshi mardana this is the condition of kubunaga ayare sutra also describe like that only vishesh sanya vishesh sanya dosha due to the sanya dosha there are some problem ayare sutra describe like that the aggravation of kava rakta pitta dushti because of the vishesh sanya tanya they are very due to the vishesh of the breast milk they are arise the kubona ga okay so chikitsa also when you are coming to the chikitsa acharya described that we have to give the medicines for both the mother and the child okay the tanya dushti also relief for the child also we have to give the medicines for mother also we have to give the medicines like banana banana karma is also advised bidach karma is also advised stana lepana is also advised dhumana and kashaya karma yoga is also advised for the relieving of the vitiated kapha pitta rakta dushti okay so for the child also we have to give some vamana prayogas <coughs> and vamana karma is also advised for the relieving of the vitiated kapha dosha dekha karma is also advised rakta mosha is also advised and some sega ashtodana anjana pratisana this can be advised we have to think that for kupunaka we have to give we have to give the medicines not only for the child they have to give the medicines for the mother also that is also very important and this condition this kubuna can be correlated with ophthalmia neonatorum ophthalmia neonatorum that is a condition where there is a inflammation of the conjunctiva the conjunctiva is inflamed the inflammation that is happening within the 30 days of the life when the child is the birth is happen but the inflammation is happen within the 30 days of age okay within the 30 days of age there there is some inflammatory condition of the conjunctiva then that inflammation the bilateral inflammation of the conjunctiva is can be called can be called as ophthalmia neonatorum okay so any discharge we can suspect any discharge within a period within the seven days of period if there there is any any discharge whether it may be watery discharge also we have to suspect that is ophthalmia neonatorum because within the limit short period within the seven days of period after the birth there won't be any there won't be any tear production so if there is any water discharge also when we are thinking that there that may be a tear production that won't be like that that may be a ophthalmia neonatorum so ophthalmia neonatorum that is a inflammatory condition of the conjunctiva of the child within the period of a 30 days age okay so if there is any if there arises any discharge that may be water discharge within a period of 7 days also we have to think about ophthalmia neonatorum because within the 7 days of period there won't arise any tear production with different etiological factors are there before birth during birth and after birth also before birth there arises some infection there may get an infection from the amniotic fluid the <coughs> eye is inf infected the conjunctiva is infected from the liquid amniotic that is before the birth factor during the birth from the canal birth canal there get there is a chance of getting some infection and after the birth also due to some contaminated fingers contaminated cloth the child will get some infection okay so before birth during birth and after birth there are the etiological factors for getting the ophthalmia neonatorum the positive agents are different chemical agents may cause gonococcal infection will be there bacterial infection will be there and herpes infection will be also cause this of the neonatal you know, okay signs and symptoms are we already described that pain tenderness will be there continual discharge will be there 
that this will be swollen when this picture you will get an idea about that this shark so it will, will be there hyperemia will be there and superficial keratitis will be there and the complication will be that we may lead to corneal ulceration perforation opacity opacity and staphyloma formation these are the complications for this of the many another and treatment also antenatally natally and postnatally according to the condition we have to give the treatment their etiology of itis also there before birth during birth and after birth there are chances of getting the ophthalmia and neonatal and according to the condition we have to give and the natal and natal postnatal condition we have to give the treatment okay this is the ophthalmia neonatal and this can be correlated with kukunaka kukunaka is a condition told by our acharyas kukunaka shishu river then to utpatti nimitta told by our acharya okay ജി <laughs> Uh, same this is not, not the same the same name is also distinct for something other words also here vapada jaya also told one allergy in vapada rogas so sir i never mentioned about allergy in vapada rogas kadine ga bigger vapada kadino grandiru nanda tamara pakko asra kuyasu allergy aatmayade mu there are some swelling there is some copper color swelling will be there present near the kadine ga sandhi the external aspect of the eye kanninage bigger one kanninaha grandi unnada there are some grandi the kanninaha swelling hard swelling will be arise at the kanninaga near kanninaga external aspect of the tamra pakwa asu puya asu allergy are my do because there will be some discharge with the asru it is <coughs> blood discharge will be there tamra varna will be there pala pas discharge will be there this is the condition of allergy ashtanga they are only told about allergy chikitsa when they come to the treatment they are the means advice sharagama agni or mice also advice and this can be correlated with internal hodiolum or otherwise can be correlated with external hodiolum or sty also can be correlated what is internal hodiolum we already described about external hodiolum or sty calasso we already described that what is internal hodiolum okay internal hodiolum that is a suppurative inflammation of the meibomian gland we already seen that calasion that is a non infective non suppurative inflammation granulomatous swelling is the swelling of the meibomian gland that is called as calasion but in internal hodiolum there arises some suppurative inflammation there arises some infection in the meibomian gland and along with the blockage of the meibomian gland duct okay that is the condition is called as internal hodiolum so different etiological factors are there primarily there are some staphylococcal infection to the meibomian gland that will cause the swelling that will cause the infection and secondary to a calasion if already there will be a calasion there will be a non infective condition is there non infective granulomatous swelling is already there and secondary infection is happening over the calasion that may also cause internal hodiolum and signs and symptoms are similar to that of or external hodiolum but the pain is more in this condition pain is more in internal hodiolum than the external hodiolum okay in external hodiolum the swelling is the pedaga or the swelling is near to that eyelid margin but the, here the internal hodiolum the swelling will be much more away from the lid margin okay but the tenderness and pain will be more in internal hodiolum swelling is away from the lid margin pus usually points on the palpable contained liver that is the point okay in the external hodiolum or the sty the pus point can be seen related to the cilia or the eyelash or the pashma but in the internal hodiolum when we are averting the lid when we are averting the swelling we can see the pus point that is pointing on the palpable contained liver excision can be done and we have to drain out the pus we have to drain out the pus we have to do the vertical incision okay from this picture we can see that there is a swelling and the swelling is away from the lid margin that pus point is 
pointing towards the parietal conjunctiva. That is the difference between internal hordeolum and the external hordeolum. Internal hordeolum, that is the inflammatory condition, that is infective inflammation, suppressive inflammation that is causing on the main bone implant. But in external hordeolum or style, that is an infective condition erasing the swelling on the glands of scissor mole. Okay, and that is related to the cilia related to the eyelid margin but this internal hordeolum that will be away from the eyelid margin that is the difference between internal hordeolum and the external hordeolum internal hordeolum can be arise in primary stage or a secondary stage secondary infection happening to a calasium or a meibomin cyst that may cause some internal hordeolum signs and symptoms are similar okay but the pain is more in internal hordeolum from this picture you will get an idea about internal hordeolum so next comes to the Varma Arbuda. From the name itself, you understand that there is an Arbuda. Varma Arbuda. Arbuda is called Varma is called Varma Arbuda. Irregular shape, hyperemic, painless cystic growth. Varma is the Mamsa Pindava, Shoyudu, Gretudu, Aruja. So, Sri Sya Arbudu, Doshe, Vishamu, Bahi Vishra. So, here is some subsuling. Varma is the Mamsa Pindava, like that of a Muscular growth, Mamsa Pindava, Soyudu, Gredu, Gredu, Ayuja, without any pain, there are some swelling. Sans, Ray, Sir, Arbudu, Doshe, Vishamaho, irregular swelling will be there, Bahida, Chala. Okay, like a bolus of flesh, there are some swelling due to the vegetation of Dekta, or through Doshas, Dekta and Doshas, there are some swelling, that is called as Marma Buddha. Chadar Karma is also advised. And can be correlated with the different types of lid tumors. Different types of lid tumors are there. We can correlate with this Varma or Buddha. Okay. So, lid tumors are there. Any type of, all type of tumors can be arise of the lid. I list different blood vessels, glandulas, tissue, uh, mis connective tissue, malignancy, tumors, glandular tissue, <coughs> tumors, muscular tumors, or blood vessels. Tumors, these different types of tumors can be arise in lid. lid. Okay, eyelid can be happen there. Arise, arise different types of tumors and different types of tumors. First one is benign tumors. Some there may be simple pagnometers. <coughs> eruptions will be missed. Eruptions will be there. Simple pagnometers eruptions will be there. Some nervous condition will be there. Angioma condition will be there. Or some pre cancers condition will be there. Some solar keratitis. Serodoma, pigment also will be there. What some malignant condition will be there? Squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, malignant melanoma. So different types of tumors can be arise. Benign tumors can be arise. Pre-cancerous tumors can be arise. Or malignant tumors can be arise. On the lead, from this picture, you can get some idea about different types of some papillomatous, simple papillomatous condition will be there. Or some <coughs> basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, different types of Malignancy can be arised on the lid. So, this type of lid tumors can be correlated with Varma or Buddha. Okay, different types of lid tumors are there. So, then comes to the another one Utkrishta Varma. Utkrishta Varma only told by Ashtangadeya, Vakadaya only told about Utkrishta Varma. Okay, how Ajayana described Utkrishta Varma? Yet, what more Krishtam, Utkrishtam, Agasma, Manata Mia, Dekta Dosha, Tre Utkrishtam. Bhavadi Utkrishta Varmadar. The eyelids became due to the inflammatory condition, eyelids became <coughs> there is some inflammatory condition due to the vitiation of Yekta and Tudosha. Okay, yet Bhavmo Krishta Utkrishta Mahatmar. The eyelid became V. Yet Bhavmo Krishta Utkrishta Mahatma Manadamiya. Eyelid became weak because of the vitiation of the Yekta and Tudosha. Okay, and that will be a sudden one side. The inflammatory condition that will happen is on the eyelids and Tadol Krishnam Jajima Sparsanakshamam. There will be some linear, some line type of marks will be there and Sparsana Akshamada. The patient cannot tolerate the touch. There will be tenderness will be there. So this condition is called as Utkrishta Varma. Ajariya Vakura only told about Utkrishta Varma. So different types are there. Four types of Utkrishta Varma are there. Pitto Krishta, this Kabo Krishta, Rekto Krishta, and Sanipal Krishta. About Pitto Krishna, four types of Utkrishta are told by Vagbadajaya. Pitto Krishna, Sadaha, Kleda, Nistoda, Dektam, Sparsanashma, P. 
ಪಿತ್ತೇನ ಜಾಯಿದೆ ಬಮ್ಮ ಪಿತ್ತೋತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಸಂಗೀತ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಆಫ್ ಪಿತ್ತ ದೇರ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ದಾಹ ಕ್ಲೇದ ನಿತ್ತೋದ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಪವರ್ಣತ್ವಂ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶನ ಕ್ಷಮದ ಸೋ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಆಫ್ ಪಿತ್ತ ದೇರ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಪಿತ್ತೋತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೇನಿ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾರ್ ಪ್ರಕಿಂಗ್ ಪೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚೆಂಜರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ದೇರ್ ಸೋ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡು ಸಮ್ ಪಿತ್ತ ಹರಿಚಿಲ್ಸ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಮಾನ ಸಿರಾ ಮೋಕ್ಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಟ ಮೋಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ವಿರೇಚನ ಲೇಖನ ಶಾಲನ ಸೇಗ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಿತ್ತ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಕಪೂಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಕಪೂಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಟಂ ಭವೇದ್ ಬರ್ಮ ಸ್ತಂಭ ಕ್ಲೇದ ಉಪದೇಹ ಬಲ್ ಸೋ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ಕಬ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ವಾರ್ಪ ಸ್ತಂಭತ್ವಂ ಕ್ಲೇದ ತುಂಬ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಉಪದೇಹ ಬಲ್ ಉಪದೇಹ ಬಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕಿ ಡಿಸ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಪೂಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಟಂ ಓಕೆ ಕಪೂಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಟಂ ಭವೇದ್ ಬರ್ಮ ಸ್ತಂಭ ಕ್ಲೇದ ಉಪದೇಹ ಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸ ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಕಬಗರ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ನೇಗನ ಪ್ರತಿಸಾರನ ವಮನ ಅಂಜನ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ದ ವಿಷಯದ ಕಬ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಟ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಅಂಡ್ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾದ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ನೆಕ್ಟ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸರ್ಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಪೇಮಿ ಬಿಲ್ಡರ್ ಫೋಟೋಫೋಬಿಯಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾದ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಆಲ್ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸಿಮ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿದೋಷ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾದ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ದಿಸ್ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ವರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ four types of their pitta krishta kahol krishta netto krishta and sannipada krishta so this condition can be correlated with different types of allergic conjunctivitis so we have already discussed that different types of allergic conjunctivitis are there due to the inflammation of the conjunctiva there are some different signs and symptoms according to the signs and symptoms we can correlate sometimes correlate with pitta krishta sometimes can be correlated with kahol krishta or netto krishta or sannipada krishta so inflammation of the conjunctiva to a allergen that will cause some allergic reaction so that will cause allergic conjunctivitis simple allergic reaction a simple allergic conjunctivitis will be there vernal keratotic conjunctivitis will be there atopic keratotic conjunctivitis will be there giant papillary conjunctivitis will be there flitten nullar keratotic conjunctivitis will be there or contact dermato conjunctivitis will be there different types of allergic reactions are there so according to the condition we can correlate with this ulkrishta varma pitta ulkrishta kapo ulkrishta nekto ulkrishta or sannipada ulkrishta can be correlated with different types of conjunctivitis okay from this picture you will get an idea about different types of conjunctivitis some are dermato conjunctivitis some are simple keratin some allergic conjunctivitis some are papillomatous some giant papillary kind of conjunctivitis will be there some flicken or keratin conjunctivitis will be there so according to the condition we can correlate with this ulkrishta varma ashtanga vera only told about ulkrishta varma okay so next come is come is nimesha that is a badha asadhi vyadhi that is an asadhi vyadhi due to the vishishna badha nimesha roga is okay vakpadajarya told like this chayam vagmini vayu nimesha unmeshana muhu karyati aru nimesha so without any pain excessive bleeding of the will happen because of the vishishna of the badha dosha chayam vagmini vayu nimesha unmeshana muhu excessive bleeding will be happen because of the vishishna vayu dosha without any pain so this condition is called as nimesha that is a vataja asadhi vyadhi nimesha chayam vagmini vayu nimesha unmeshana muhu karyati aru nimesho asu so this condition is called as nimesha and this condition is can be correlated excessive blinking of the eye we already described blepharospasm we already described blepharospasm that blepharospasm can be correlated with nimesha nimesha is a badha asadhya vyadhi okay due to the vishishna badha excessive blinking will be happen okay so this condition is called as nimesha then comes the pakshma chada pakshma chada is also only described by acharya vakra karodi kandu daham cha pittam pakshmandam asuram pittam pakshmandam asuram pakshmanam chadanam cha anu pakshma chadam madanditam due to the vishishana of the pitta dosha and that is dosha that is reaching the pakshma mula that is reaching the root of the eyelashes because of the pitta dosha vishishan the eyelashes will be followed eyelashes will be followed itching will be there veining sensation will be there that is called as this condition is called as pakshma chada karodi kandum daham cha pittam pashmandam astram pakshmanam sadanam cha anu pashma chadam valandisam pashmana means eyelashes will be follow due to the vishesha pitta pitta the vishesha pitta that is reaching the 
Fatma, root of the cilia, and because of the vitiation of the dosha, the eyelashes will be forth. Okay, that condition is called as Pakshma Shada. Madhya Vatra only told about Pakshma Shada. Okay, and Kutana Jilsa, we have to prick with a pointed needle. Kutana Jilsa also described in our Samhita. Juru Gavajarana is also advised. Vamanamiti Ikshugasa and Shira is also advised. Nasya with the Gruda prepared with Madhura Dravyas. Is also advice. Pushpakasi Sanjana is also advice in some vidas. Okay, so there's a pitta hara chigilsa is advice for Pakshmasada. Okay, this condition, madrosis, can be correlated with Pakshmasada. Madrosis, that is a condition where the absence of seria, absence of seria due to any cause, due to some chronic blepharitis, due to some leprosy, due to some mixed edema, there may be an absence of, absence of eyelashes from the lid mouth. This condition is called as metrosis. From this picture, we can get an idea. Due to any cause, due to chronic blepharitis or leprosy, there may be absence of eyelashes in the eyelid margin. So that condition can be correlated with Pakshma Shanda. Due to the vitiation of Pitta, that is reaching the root of this area. And because of the vitiation of the Pitta, the Pakshmas are falling off, the Syrias are falling off. There will be gain sensation and itching will be there. Okay, this condition is called as Pakshmasada and madrosis can be correlated with Pakshmasada. Okay, then come to the Asha Varma or Varma Asha. Okay, Ajay Susur and Varma also described about Asha Varma. Asha Varma that is a Sanni Pada Jekta Chayadan Sadi Vyadi. Means Sanni Pada Chayadan Sadi Vyadi according to Susur and Jaya. That is a Jekta Vyadi and Asadi Vyadi according to Varma Jaya. According to Susur and Jaya, that is a Chayadan Sadi Vyadi. According to Vakpada Jariya means Vakma Arsha, that is a Asadhya Vyadi. See, Asho Adhimamsam Vakmandaha Stabdam Sdigdam Sadaharu Dektam Dektena Tad Sadi Chinnam Chinnam Cha Vakmade. So, because of the vitiation of the Dhoshas, because of the vitiation of the Dekta, Asho Adhimamsam, there are areas of Adhimamsa eruption. Okay, Vakmandaha in the inside of the Vakma Stabdam Sdigdam. Sadaharu, very sensation, pain will be there. Take them, take them, that's Ravi. There will be some discharge with blood. Chinnam, chinnam, chabamle. When we are pricking, that will cause new pedagas, new eruptions will be occur. So, this condition is called as Vatma Arsha. So, can be correlated with the papillary form of trachoma. In severe form of trachoma, there are some papillary eruptions will be there and the <coughs> Palpable condition, so that, that condition can be correlated with Vatma or Asho Vatma. So, according to Vatma, that is a Asadi Vadi, Dekta Asadi Vadi, according to Susuraja, that is a Sandi Pada, the Chair and Asadi Vadi. So, Asho Adimansa Vatma and the Ha, Stadam Sindam Sada Haru, Dekta Mektena, that Sami, Chinam Chinam Cha Vatta Day, that is a Asadi Vadi, according to Vatma, that is a Chair and Asadi Vadi, according to Susuraja, that is a difference. So can be correlated with the condition, can be correlated with capillary form of trachoma. That's condition. Okay. So that is a condition only told by Susurajaya. That is a dectaja asati vyadi. Only told by Susurajaya. A soft, painful growth is arising from the varma. Chinna chinna vivartandi. Varmastya mruduvo anguraha. Daha kandu anguro. That type of eruptions. Some soft, painful, ducha, naha, kandu will be there and associated with the itching, pain sensation, this type of eruption that is called as shonida asa, shonida, shonida asa. Okay, due to the vision of dekta. And when we are exercising and removing, again also that will reoccur. So that is a dekta ja asadi vyadi, that is only told by susurva devya. So can be correlated with different types of eruptions. Sometimes we can call it with some cancer of malignancy of lid, nervous condition, or what? Okay, this condition can be correlated with, with Chondasa. Chondasa is a Asadi Vyadi, Dekta Asadi Vyadi, according to Susurajaya. So these are the different types of Vakmada Rogas. 21 different Vakmada Rogas are there according to Susurajaya, and 24 different types are there according to Vakmada So we just to go through all the diseases. We describe all the diseases and the correlation also. 
so the number is more and type c are more but never panic about the number you can expect two to three <coughs> this is a two to three questions from varmagad rogas in each and every exam in chalake first part but when you are comparing all the diseases when you are going through the diseases see there are different types of eruptions different types of pitagas different types of swellings are there so according to the swelling sometimes when we are correlating with the swelling sometimes that is related to internal corticoidal or external corticoidal or calasio or some <coughs> like that of uh, some <coughs> polyp like eruptions are there so different types of swellings are there so we can group like that see ulsangini we describe about that kumbiga we describe potagi varma sarkara anjara namika behrala varma varma avabanda lagana bisa varma allergy these are different types of swellings okay when we are going through this different types of swellings are there some more like that of internal odeol like the <coughs> that like that of external odeol of course type some are related to calasio some are like that of a polyp okay so different types of eruptions are there according to the swelling according to the eruptions according to the different characters of the pedagas acharyas given the name accordingly will sangini as there kumbiga where the, the swelling is like there kumbiga beja but so that is a kumbiga okay anjana namiga bisa varma like there is bisa that is a porous edema okay that is named as bisa varma so different swellings are there when we are coming to another part different types of inflammatory conditions are there when we are coming to different types of conjunctivitis different the types of this type <coughs> allergic conjunctivitis according to the condition according to the condition of the conjunctivitis different types of discharge will be there different sometimes it may be watery discharge sometimes it may be mucus discharge sometimes pus discharge will be there or purulent or mucopurulent discharge will be there or cell will be different the color will be different sometimes chemosis will be there sometimes coppery color cell will be there sometimes reddish color cell will be there okay according to the inflammation according to the allergic reaction different types of swelling or different types of discharge will be there so condition will be different so according to the different condition acharya also given different names some are krishta varma varma kardama chava varma see from the name itself you will get an idea varma kardama in kardama type of swelling or inflammation will be there chava varmatam chava varma is there srishta varmatam srishta tam will be there klinna varma klinna tam will be there aklinna varma there won't be any klinna so the name is aklinna varma utkrishta varma it will be ashtangadeya utkrishta varma okay from the name, the name itself you will get an idea so different types of different types of swellings are there pedagas are there different types of inflammatory conditions of the lid is also there so palpable conjunctiva is attached with the, the lid so different types of conjunctivitis that are related to the palpable conjunctiva that is also affecting the lid that is also expressing indifferently different signs and symptoms are there different pus discharge is there different types of swellings are there in color pain tenderness okay so accordingly the names are also given so krishna varma varma kandama shava varma srishta varma klinna varma aklinna varma like that so only one disease that is told by our acharya that is related to the children that is kubunaga kubunaga that is also different one so some diseases that are related to arshas okay that can also be grouped together shushka arsha arsho varma varma varanda chodi darsha like that also we can group together shushka arsha that are told by our both are acharya means arsho varma means shushka arsha arsho varma varma arbuda chodi darsha shushka arsha only told by susurda acharya arsho varma is told by acharya varma arbuda chodi darsha only told by susurda acharya so different types of arsha type eruptions arbuda type eruptions that also can be grouped together and some pakshma related diseases are there pakshma shaba pakshma shada pakshma gopa or pakshma upadha pakshma shada means pakshma is means the celiacs are falling off pakshma gopa or pakshma upadha that is a important disease so this can also be grouped together 
the diseases that are related to the Pakshma, Pakshma Sada, and Pakshma Gopa that can also group together. And the diseases related to the Vat Dosha predominant, Vata Hadavatma, Nimesha, Kruchurmila. Okay, that is mainly because of the Vata Vishesha Doshas. Due to the Vishesha Vata, this Vata Hadavatma is happening, Nimesha is happening, and Kruchurmila is also happening. So, like, like that, we can also group together. According to the Dosha predominant, also we can group together. Or other ways, according to the swelling, different types of swellings are there. Accordingly, we can also group together. Different types of inflammatory conditions are there. Different types of correlation can be done according to the condition. So, like that, also we can group together. Kukuna is another, another condition that is also inflammatory condition. And some diseases are related to some, related to some arsa formation, shushka arsa, shon darsa, and arsa vartma, vartma arsa. Buddha, that condition can also be grouped together. And Pakshma Sada and Pakshma Boba also grouped together because that is more, somewhat more related to the Pakshma region, that is more related to Syria or Pakshma. Okay. And some other group of diseases, Madhakadavarma, Nimesha, and Krichuramila, these are mostly because of the Vishayatar Vata Dosha. Like, the, like that, we can subgroup the, the total 24 or 21 Dogas, we can group. Like that also, then that will be easy to remember. Okay, so according to Vata, the condition there are Nimesha, Vata, the Vatma is there, Kabaja, Dosha, Pregnina Vatma, Legana, Podagi is also there, Tekta, the condition, Krishta Vatma, Anjana Amiga, Shoni Darsha also there, and remaining all, all, all the Sani Padri Vyad is also there. So 21 Dogas also there according to Susudha Jariya, 24 Dogas are there according to according to Vagra Jariya. So when we are coming to the previous questions, Mainly three to uh, three or five more questions are coming. Three marks questions or five marks questions are coming mostly in the exams. Parmadadrogas prognosis once asked about the prognosis. Vada Kada Parma, Anjananamika, Potagi, Krichan Mila, Pakshma Sada, Kalasiol, Internal Hordiola, Trachoma, Glands of Eyelids, Mabomin Glands, Ectropion. These are the questions asked in previous years. So mainly three or for the mass three or five, they are asking the questions. Definitely you can predict, you can predict definitely minimum two or three questions will be asked in every exam. Some are more important, like that of Antinamiga, Portaki, Kubunaga, Pakshma Gopa, and the modern correlations also calasion, internal cordiolum, external cordiolum, and trachoma and glands of the eyelids, mabobin gland, entropion and ecropion, these type of conditions and just go through the condition, just go through the diseases and just go through the modern correlation. So definitely you have to expect, you can predict minimum two or three questions, minimum two questions you can predict from what mother that does and just go through the diseases and just try to remember. If you already studied the slogans, then it will be easy. Or otherwise, also don't be afraid, don't be panicked about the number of the diseases. From the name itself, you will get some clue. From the name itself, you will get some. From the name of the disease, you will get some clue or some signs and symptoms related to the disease. Okay, okay, just go through the diseases and just go through the correlations, and definitely you will get some two to three questions from what mother asked. Okay, just go through. Only limited times are there, just go, go through the session. Okay, thank you.